Hi guys, uh, my name is Mithun and welcome to this YouTube tutorial. In this YouTube tutorial, I'm going to show you the perfect audio settings that will help you in enhancing your uh, webcam and uh, screen recording using Loom web application. In this particular tutorial, you will learn minor tweaks that you can make to enhance the audio quality when the recording is completed. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, I have uh, Loom's dashboard opened up on my computer. If you haven't already signed up for Zoom, you can easily do that by going to loom.com. And uh, if you are also fed up with uh, Loom's premium and uh, free pricing structures, uh, confusion and limitations, so you can actually sign up with an alternative that I have been using called Pepo Cloud. Uh, Pepo Cloud is a wonderful application that uh, actually eliminates all the problems that uh, you have been facing with uh, Loom. And uh, if you compare the quality, Pepo Cloud is uh, far better and uh, even in the pricing section, Pepo Cloud seems to be offering more value for money. So I would uh, prefer Pepo Cloud any day. Uh, so go check it out if you want to use a better platform. Diving into the tutorial, as you can see, there are no options for you to actually modify the audio settings on your computer. Uh, the only pro uh, options that you have right now is the settings option in which you can actually tweak the personal and uh, a workspace options uh, which do not actually give you any support for uh, what do you call uh, audio hardware modification or even software enabled modification so what you need to do in order to do that is to actually click on this browser extension uh, this is the loom browser extension and if you don't have this extension you won't be able to record your uh, screen or your uh, web application using loom so make sure that after signing up you actually install this on your browser i reckon it is available for uh, uh, firefox and all chromium based all chromium based uh, browsers out there so as you can see uh, the uh, as you can see there is a line that vibrates whenever i talk uh, this is actually a hint that my recording device is properly set up and the audio interface is able to capture the audio coming to coming from my microphone uh, I have actually configured the microphone properly, but if you don't see this line vibrating, it means that your uh, computer is not able to detect your audio device. In order to actually make sure that you have selected the proper audio devices, click on this drop down button option and you can select from various options that are available in your computer. Sometimes there may be two or three options available, but you only have one microphone. So make sure to uh, check all of them out to see which one is working out for you. In this case, I have actually microphone, which is my default microphone input uh, option. Uh, so I've selected that and it works uh, pretty fine without any uh, additional setup. Now let's click on this uh, adjustment uh, options, uh, which comes under the advanced option. And you can see there are no like uh, special uh, options for uh, sound. And that's completely fine because uh, all we needed to do in this particular regard was to actually select the right uh, audio device in the recording uh, settings options. Now the next few options are not actually uh, related to Loom in any way. Uh, they are completely uh, in your control and you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, so let's get started with the first option. The first option is to actually use a high quality microphone. Uh, today uh, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars to just get a decent XLR microphone or even a USB microphone that works fine. I have been using a $30 microphone for I don't know how many years and it just works flawlessly. People even use it for podcasting so I don't see a problem in actually getting a affordable microphone for, for your screen recording and your conferences and uh, any type of uh, YouTube uh, recording and uploading. So uh, make sure to spend some money on your uh, microphone because if you have a very poor quality microphone no matter what settings you tweak at the end of the day the recording will be of very poor quality as well the problem is that cheap microphones i'm talking about cheap microphones and not the affordable ones there are microphones that you can buy for like five dollars and, and even some some even come for like ten dollars and uh, for uh, a basic user who just does not use microphone that much it might sound like a good deal but uh, believe me uh, those microphones aren't actually uh, built for the, this particular case scenario because uh, they fail to catch the highs and lows accurately and you will see that uh, the audio recording sounds like a 
uh, very poorly recorded one which was actually uh, which seems to be recorded with uh, some potato computer or something like that so uh, make sure to spend uh, uh, up to 40 50 dollars if you have it on a decent microphone once you have that decent microphone uh, set up uh, all you have to do is uh, go to your computer's uh, audio settings in my in my case uh, i have actually uh, been using windows so i'm gonna go to this uh, i'm gonna right click on this speaker and i'm gonna click on the sounds settings as you can see uh, there is uh, a lot of options in the sound settings panel uh, and i'm gonna select the microphone option and I'm going to make sure that all the volume and everything is actually 100% so that uh, all my uh, sound is actually picked up without actually any problem in the front end or even in the back end. So there is no issue here I guess and I'm going to close that. Now let's go to this uh, audio option again and uh, uh, as you can see uh, there is an option for more volume settings. All right. So we have now uh, advanced audio and playback settings. In this advanced playback audio settings, you will see that uh, in the recording settings, a recording panel, you will see that there are two microphones that are actively picking up my noise. So uh, make sure that uh, you select one as your default communication device. My default communication device is this one. I don't need that. So I'm going to disable that because I don't want to capture my microphone using a uh, webcam webcams microphones are of really low quality so i don't want that and i'm gonna make sure to keep this one as the default microscope microphone and then i'm gonna click on this and uh, go to this levels option and uh, see everything in my end at my end everything is configured properly so i don't need to do anything and uh, in this advanced option i have like two channel which is pretty much the settings that you need. Don't tweak anything if uh, it does not need any tweaking. And uh, I think that's uh, pretty much it. So just click on OK. OK. And uh, yeah. So that's uh, how you actually uh, set up the audio in your uh, uh, Loom settings and uh, make sure that uh, your audio is exported at the highest quality possible. Now, the problem is that uh, while you're using Loom, it actually might not actually uh, let you uh, record for more than five minutes if you don't have a premium account. And uh, that is the reason why I don't prefer using Loom now. I actually use uh, Pepo Cloud or something else like uh, Camtasia. But uh, my favorite one is Pepo Cloud. Because it is a web application, I can actually take it uh, anywhere I want and use it without breaking a sweat. All I have to do is go to pepocloud.com and uh, get started with the recording. So that was my tutorial for uh, setting up uh, proper audio settings in Loom and even in your computer. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any doubts regarding the same. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till then, take care and bye.